proper medicated to its arterial not Goose was cooked that time. Hurts of life on the force is what happened, kid. Not the first time I've been jumped. But this one, I didn't see coming, nor leaving. A pro. If you ever want a badge, kid? Let me know. You're right. Beats me. <laughs> sure as hell. Sure as hell wasn't an act of mercy in this neighborhood. <laughs> we cross my friends around here off the suspect lists. Dig it around a racket lately. Some small timers, the slicers. If it's them that got me, but all signs are pointing the same way. You're right. <laughs> well, the days of dawn rays on arm gangs are long over, kid. I stopped around the time my chicken shit comrades started telling the gangs we were coming. But if you've got more cojones and want to lend this old dog a hand, I might have a job for you. Pops used to say, Welcome. Oh, how nice of you. Let me take a quick. Oh, Tattoo Dragon! <sighs> Would you believe I ordered this a good year ago? If you keep favors like this coming, you can be as secretive as you please. 
Back again. Well, roll right in, won't ya? Welcome, welcome. Well, look at you. A mind for good eyes if I ever did see. I do have something nagging at me, you're right. Maybe a good one if I heard it. But gentleman Mr. Finch has taken it upon himself to go all unreachable on me. He's got a full-time job, granted. But it's the pills I blame, I swear. Ever since his divorce, that man's been up and down more than a yo-yo on a pogo stick. Finch lives near Fixer's Hope. You know it, right? Apartment 112. I call you Claire, Claire de Lune. I'm Lily, your maitre d'. So, flesh and bloods are your taste. A connoisseur's choice. But we have many connoisseurs. So, Chen Tao sent you. How adorable. Now why don't you forget this nonsense and enjoy some Aphrodite's elixir yourself? When a woman knows what she wants, she gets it. And of course, there is Shen. Of course you will. And why exactly should you receive a discount? Need a lies. I should first eat rivals. Of course you will. Well... I wasn't told of no coming throughs. Well, if my heavenlies are not in need just now, sure. And up. I chose this profession, darling. When you're born as fine as I, it doesn't take long to work out where your money's coming from. It was just natural I'd invest in being all Shen, 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 are... Are you afraid of pleasure? I can take the competition, but... Not when it's ignorance and fear doing the judge.
hurry, lady. I I'm not going anywhere. My girlfriend, my job, my fun. Why would you even say that? Fuck you, lady. Is that from Lumi? What? Who's this Frank? I need to get out of here. I never get chance to thank you. Shed's back. He a okay. Thank you. No. Oh, how can I? Please, please take this. Hello. I'm. S Specimen, aren't you? Now, Decker's messenger is very curt, but he said you needed NeuroWeave. Oh, why didn't he say? First, what it is. A NeuroWeave is a neural platform for multiple high end augmentations. Don't worry. But if Decker wants you to install a NeuroWeave, that means more implants to come. This is a spinal attachment that equipped that I can perform the operation for free. I hope Decker that much, but. And here we come to the big problem. I can order a Neuroweave, but I dare it. Clearly, Decker hasn't heard the black market is flooded with defective implants right now. It seems they bring sabotage so that the body rejects them. Wish I did. Nobody knows. At first, everyone thought it was bad luck. And the situation is only getting worse. A friend of mine, Dr. Holm, owns a drugstore next to Fix's Home. For what, anyway, the deal is... 
If you want to get your hands on a safe, legit neural weave, you should first find out who's sabotaging all the implants. Shame. Crying shame. What? No. The restaurant was one of the good ones. They're shutting her down. Farewell, Tagliatelli al Salmone. Gonna miss you. That. And some. I'm a curious cat, me. If you want to talk wise, come. We can go to the Nightingale over there. Don't worry. I'm not trying to hit on you. The good. Anyway, that restaurant back there? Eden? Quarantined. Ha! <laughs> I thought it was obvious. Everyone all over knows my game. I'm a reporter. Still, uh, a one-girl show right now. Well, two if I include you. I do my own running after scoops, dig in the dirt, you know. Finger on the street pulse, old school, baby. Not like those hackers in their mama's basements fighting for a freedom they'll never go outside to see. You and I gotta hang out someday, girl. <laughs> well, I wasn't always like this. Used to work for the system. Fat News Corp, fat salary, but any st- I'm sure there are risks, but it's all about staying a nuisance, not a threat. That and knowing who you can walk over, who you can. It's true I'm on everyone's radar, but known faces are hard to cap, remember? No idea. They've got a tighter lid on this than an elephant on a manhole. I did some probing, this is my neighborhood, see, and found out that Eden got shut down after an impromptu health inspection. Okay, listen. Biofarm Tech did the inspection, got their own agents. But guess who was the food supplier for Eden? Biofarm Tech. Somebody does. So that's it. You're here from another time, another dimension. Don't they have corporations where you're from? <laughs> Biofarm Tech is only the biggest organic food company in the world. Girl after my own heart. The whole thing's a catch. Most people lap up their PR like kittens around cream. We're so desperate to see a corporation that won't screw its own mother for better margins that the whole town's painting rainbows over Biofarm. That's what I wanted to talk to you about. I'm kind of stuck right now. And to make matters worse, the suits at Biofarm know me. Not the first time I've lifted their skirts. If I showed up at their office, they'd sooner toss me out of the window than talk to me. Awesome! Right, their main office is in High Rise, so start there. Ask a few questions. Be subtle, though. Don't barge in throwing around accusations.
Look, I'm not here for new friends, and I'm not giving up my place in the line. Is that you and me done here? What? Loads of people write like that. Okay, relax, all right? It was me. I've been writing the letters. She's got robot vocal cords. It's not her anymore. Some machine singing in her throat. I wasn't actually going to hurt her. I'm not some psycho. But she needs to know that her fans are so angry I could scream. Something else? Something else? It's her music I like. We made her, okay? Is that it? Is that it? This is Barbara. You've not heard of the voicers? Nothing. Okay, I'll tell. Seeing as the world is about to know anyway, screw you. You don't know pain. No. Say that you're sorry. There's one more thing that the world needs. For me to sound the same as Barbara. My new chords have to be set the same as hers. I, but the doc says he won't tell me her settings. So, if you could just access the data server somewhere in this building, you... And why in the realm of cotton candy would I do that? Then she should have just stopped singing the Judas.